Hey everyone, I'm super excited about the video of today. Over the course of this video, I'm gonna show you how you can create your own email autoresponder and how it's gonna allow you to automatically email, schedule appointments with whoever is emailing you. So whether you're in the insurance industry or you're a doctor or you work in real estate where you're probably handling a lot of inbound inquiries and busy scheduling appointments, I'm gonna show you how you can automate entirely this process. And for that, we're gonna be using Crew AI, which is a multi-AI agent framework, and Composio, which is an integration platform for AI agents. It's basically the same as Zapier, but it's specifically made for AI agents, and I'm gonna show you why this is important. So over the course of this video, I'm gonna show you why we need tools in a Gentex system. And over the second part of the video, I'm gonna walk you through the entire tutorial. All of the code will be publicly available, so you will be able to copy the repo and just reuse it directly within your own uh, operations. So very excited again, and let's get going. Okay, so why do we need tools in a agentic uh, system? So just like in your job, you're basically coming in with a, your background and like set a specific task, but to be set up for success, you actually need a set of tools, right? You would need probably like subscriptions to specific data platforms, depending on what you do. And it's a bit the same with AI agents. You need to give them a set of tools so that they can actually accomplish their task successfully. So let's say you're giving an AI agent the task to browse the web. If you don't create that API connection that allows your agent to browse the web, they're basically not gonna be able to accomplish their task successfully, no matter how good the prompt is, no matter how good the configuration. So that's why we need tools. In many of the AI agents uh, that we see today, many of these tools are actually being custom made. The issue with custom made is that it takes up a lot of time, it's complex, and it's not super accessible to everyone. So that's why Composio has been filling the gap by allowing AI agents to very easily connect to a bunch of tools. So just like Zapier allows you to connect to hundreds of other platforms, Composio allows you to do the same, but it's specifically made for AI agents. And this is how it works. Also here is Composio's landing page. As you can see, it's an integration platform for AI agents. It allows you to connect to over 250 tools. So a tool being Gmail or GitHub, or Twitter and so on. It's also handling the authorization. So that's very interesting. And actually one of the main features that I like within Composio is that if you are to commercialize an AI agent that allows your users to connect their Gmail to let's say Twitter, instead of having to create those authentication yourself for every user, Composio would be doing this directly for you. If you already spent a bit of time on Google Cloud Console, you probably recognize the, the power of this. So now let's go over the different actions that you can take within every tool. So if you look at Gmail, you have 18 actions and triggers. So this is a bit similar to what you would be able to do uh, within Zapier. So nothing too groundbreaking, but I think what's interesting is you could also create a custom action so you can edit and create your own code to interact with the integration. So I think that's something that is quite powerful. The second thing is that you have uh, triggers so every time you get a new email, this is something I'm gonna show you in my tutorial, but every time you get a new email, you can do something specific with it. I think what's quite amazing is uh, with GitHub, you have over 900 actions, so 914 between triggers and actions. So that means that if you are to build an AI agent that allows you to refactor, push code, pull code, to then edit it and so on, you could basically do everything so if you are to build an AI agent for coding or uh, development, this would be uh, probably saving you so much time and instead of creating all the custom, custom tools yourself. HubSpot, you have over 175 actions, a SERP API. Uh, feel free to hop over uh, their website to look at the different integrations that they have. But I'm gonna show you in the code why Composer is truly a game changer with agents. And spoiler alert, it's basically, you don't have to specify every action that you wanna take, but you let the AI agent figure out what to do. And this is where all of these 900 actions, you wouldn't have to specify which one to take when, but you would let the agent figure out the right parameter and the right action to take within the integration. So as you can imagine, if you leave an agent to interact with GitHub, it could pretty much do anything you want. So there are some risks, but you can also imagine that it's incredibly powerful if you want to build an agent that allows you to code or to develop your software faster. So before we dive into the code, I just want to let you know that you can actually audit your workflow for free 
by booking an appointment with me. The link is directly in the description of the video and over 15 minutes, I'm gonna tell you how you can implement AI agents. I've been doing this for both Firescan, which is a lead generation business that I own, but also for SEO agencies, public adjusters, brokers, real estate agents. I'd be happy to give you feedback and show you how you can implement the different agents, but I'm also happy to show you how you can better use AI in your operations today. So now we're gonna dive into the code and I'm gonna walk you through the tutorial on how you can create your own email autoresponder. So let's just go over the workflow. So let's say you're a doctor and as a doctor, you always receive emails. Uh, you have to schedule recall appointments with your different patients. Sometimes you get new patients that you need to onboard and so on. And you probably have someone who's extremely busy scheduling the appointments, figuring out if the patient is already in the database, whether they already had some specific treatments. So this process is quite tedious, repetitive and time intensive. So the ideal use case for AI, obviously. So in this workflow, I'm gonna show you how you can set up a trigger so that every time you receive a new email, it's gonna go through the agentic workflow. The, the workflow in short is you get an email, you check if the person is already in your database, you then create a calendar link, and then finally you reply depending on if it's a patient or not with the necessary next steps. Fairly straightforward. You can apply this also if you work in real estate or in uh, the insurance industry. Yeah, let's go over the code now. So here is a script. Let's go over it very briefly. So like I mentioned, we are using Composio and different actions. The actions that the agents would be able to take include to find free slots on my Google Calendar, to create an event, to generate an email draft, but also to look up into a Google Sheet the patient data. So in my case, I just made up some dummy variables, but in your case, it would potentially be your database. Then we have a, a crew. So I have another tutorial on how CreAI works, but if you're familiar with it, I'm basically setting up different agents to work together, where each agent will have a specific task to accomplish. So one agent is actually gonna look up in the Google Sheet to see if the patient already exists. Then the second agent is gonna schedule an appointment. So this agent is actually gonna look for a free slot in my calendar, then create a link, depending on if the sender is an existing patient or not. And then finally, we have another agent who will draft an email that is also consistent with the historical data that we have about the patient. So I'm gonna show you how this works. So if we just go over this email, so I'm getting from this other email, hi doctor, uh, should we schedule an appointment for next week? And then eventually it's gonna say meeting schedule. Hi Vlad, your follow-up appointment for cavity cleaning with Dr. Vladimir has been scheduled. Here are the details, so date and time and location. So if we go over my calendar, you're gonna see that this meeting has been scheduled. So basically there's an agent that found a free slot that created the uh, link on my Google Calendar with the details about where it's happening and details about the event. Then it generated that draft and all of this happened automatically as soon as I got an email from this other person called Vladimir at Firescan. Okay, so let's just go over every, every individual action. Uh, so like I said, uh, there's a trigger that is set up. So the trigger, you're basically just calling a listener and that is built in uh, Composio. So you have new Gmail message. So this is just the trigger that I've created and this is the payload that you get. So every time you get an email, you can access the thread ID. So that means like the different email exchange. This will provide some context about the next email draft to generate the last message, but also the sender email. And then it's basically gonna kick off with all of those input parameters, the crew. So again, with crew AI, it's gonna send out the sender email message and thread ID that you'll then be able to reuse across all of the different tasks. So like I mentioned, in the first email task, we have this description. So you get a sender email passed, then it's gonna go into the spreadsheet and it's gonna check if the sender email exists in the sheet. So it's gonna look at the sender email and see if it's in the list. Then it's gonna look up in range E for the recall date and C for the last appointment session. And all of this is gonna return a result object. And the reason I'm doing that is with AI agents, because you're always dealing with unstructured data, it's always good at some point to structure it back so that you can reuse those components more easily and make sure that your results are more consistent. So here I'm creating a class object called result using the Pydantic uh, library with all of the information that you can actually get from the Google Sheet. And then I'm basically gonna be able to reuse that information throughout the crew. So that was the first task. Then the second task is scheduling task. 
So here there's a description that's a little bit tedious, but essentially the agent pass all of those mandatory parameters to the action of creating a Google Calendar slot with optional parameters. So it's adding extra flexibility to the agent. In order to ensure that the output remains consistent, I'm also creating an event object. And the reason I'm doing that is to ensure that the, the tools work as much as possible. Finally, we have the email draft task. So the agent is going to figure out if the email exists in the database. And if it doesn't, then it should draft an email saying, we cannot schedule an appointment immediately. You need to complete an onboarding. And then it's going to generate a draft email, which is the one I have just shown you. So the way it works is it's waiting for an email. And every time it receives an email, it's going to go through this workflow of getting the email, figuring out if the patient is already in the database, and then create a calendar if the patient is already in the database and then draft an email no matter what, informing whether the patient needs to go through an onboarding or can actually attend the follow-up appointment. So hopefully you found this uh, tutorial helpful. This uh, code is accessible uh, directly on my GitHub. So feel free to just reuse it. And if you want any help, go over the description of the video. You can audit your workflow and I would be happy to show you how you can implement it directly within your own operations.